Hi everyone, Merry Christmas and welcome to Lily and Rich's Christmas cocktail and canapé evening. So every year, you can start making your cocktail. Oh yeah. Every year, Rich and I have a canapé night. It's normally because Rich wants to feel more festive. And also, canapés are the best part of Christmas. I love them. And I feel like, I'm sad that we only eat them on one day. So we have a canapé night and then we normally have canapés on Christmas Eve and then canapes on Christmas Day. I just think I want all the canapes. I've said the word canapé too many times. Canapé, canapé. So this year we're inviting you to be part of our canapé night. We've like, you know, amped it up a notch. Normally we're in our pajamas watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here or something. But this year we have like dressed up for the occasion, which I can't believe we haven't done this before because it's made me feel really excited. I feel like we're having a date night in our own house. <laughs> like I've put on a dress and I've done my hair and makeup and like we had a shot. Gin, lime, lime juice and sugar. It made me realise I haven't drunk enough this year. Okay, wait, Rich is making a cocktail, so I want him to talk you through it. Okay, so I'm making a Christmas gin cocktail, that's what it's called, because we've got quite a lot of gin in our little bar cart area. So what's in it is 50 ml of gin, 25 ml of fresh lemon juice, 15 ml of orange juice, 15 ml of Campari. What is Campari? Very nice. One egg yolk. Ugh. One teaspoon of sugar. Yolk, you mean yeah. white. Egg white, oh. egg white, egg white. And then you put it in a shaker, and then you, with loads of ice, and then you do like a lime, uh, orange zest. Okay, that sounds like it's gonna take ages. You keep going with yeah. that. I was like, you're in charge of cocktails. We have mini sausage rolls. Like these ones from M&S, and then we've got like prawn tempura. From Waitrose and then like brie and cranberry parcels. Oh my god, this is just a few. I've bought so many canapes for Christmas Day, it's unbelievable. I can't deal with the egg white. I can't you don't, deal with, But you've had it before. You've had it in cocktails before. Just like raw egg white. Yeah, protein. Rich, stop it. People yeah. always ask about you working in a champagne bar. Oh, but like, can yeah. Rich tell us about his like bar work experience? Because that you did a lot of bar work before your like. Before I met you. Yeah. I started working in a pub when I was 16 and then I just moved up. So I went from pot washer to then when I turned eight, 17, 18. So then start um, working in the bar and I worked in a pub and then I worked in a couple of, in a bar in Ipswich. Go on, do the shaking. Can I start eating? Yeah. It was like over 21s. They only let, allowed over 21s into the bar. Oh. Which was nice. So weekends and they specialised in gin and tonic. Oh. So I learned how to make really good gin and tonic. Another one that's called tonic. It's called tonic. Mm. And there you go. Mm. And it worked. Oh my god. Look, it's pink and it's like frothy on top. Don't tell me that's the egg white. Yeah. No. I'm gonna wait for you so we can cheers. Okay. Oh my god, the prawn tempura thing. Oh my god, they're so good. I'm so happy right now. I'm dipping it in like Nando sauce. <laughs> Okay, and then at uni you worked in a champagne bar. And then at uni, when I went to uni, I worked in a champagne bar and just learned about champagne and other cocktails. And it was good fun. First of all, the people always loved you. Like, people were always like hitting on you behind a bar. <laughs> and also, I felt like you was a bit like you were on show. I used to like really fancy you when I'd come and see you working in a bar and I was like, look at Rich being all like in charge. You'd always have your sleeves rolled up and like your black shirt. It's the black shirt, wasn't it? You always had a thing for the black shirt. I know. <laughs> I used to love a black shirt on a guy, but I just think it's like really like hot about a bar guy. So whenever there's anything to do with drinks, my family we put Rich in charge. He doesn't really know what he's doing anymore. But yeah, I'm not like the best. Back barman. in the day, we just thought in this video we would just chat away about this year, about next year. I did get a few questions from you guys on Instagram, but we just wanted to be super chilled and chatty. Well, it's very egg yolky. You're lucky you didn't get that. Oh, do you like that? It's like you have it in like Negroni. It smells like aftershave. And soil. Yeah, it's very like musty. Mm. The canapes sold out quick this year. Yeah, there weren't any canapes online. I had to go into Waitrose. It was worth it. I'm not a massive fan of the cheesy brie parsley type no, ones. I don't know where you got those. Oh, I thought you liked them. That's why no. I got them. I like sausage rolls, prawns are good, and the little mini beef wellingtons or the Yorkshire puddings with the beef in it. Mm, don't have any of those this year. What? We get, what's that thing you get from eating raw egg? Salmonella. No, like bodybuilders eat like buckets of the raw egg. Oh, it just goes right in the drink. Did you wash it? Because you get the, yeah, I did. And then you get the zest. <laughs> Smell my fingers. <laughs> Pow. 
palatable. That is good. Well done. Yeah. Let's start by talking about this year. Someone did ask, like, what's your biggest lesson in 2020? Let's just kind of regroup. Because it's been a weird year. Like, we started the year just thinking it was going to be normal. If anything, I think we thought this year was going to be, like, our year you know, where mm. I'm not pregnant and we haven't got a newborn and like, let's travel loads and let's do cool stuff and like, let me get back into my career and like, thought this was gonna yeah. be a big year. And like, show Grey the world. Really excited for that. Yeah, so it's um, been weird. The first half of the year, when everything started. Do you really know what was happening? Kind of just went with it, like the lockdown. It was kind of, in a weird way, it was like, exciting, mm. but really sad. It was kind of like the films, you felt like it was like, was it the film Contagion or World War Z? And you're like, <gasps> it was scary. what's happening? And what they gonna do to help us like what's yeah it was scary and unknown but we like really threw ourselves into lockdown and I remember Grey was so little she wasn't even crawling yet which is crazy proper baby but we like I feel so grateful that we had Grey throughout all of this because she was totally a distraction something to focus on we would have been so bored but if anything like we weren't really going out anyway like in evenings and stuff and all our focus just went on her and like in the space of you know, lockdown, she like learnt to crawl, she learnt to walk, she learnt to run and she's grown up so much this year. And I was also nervous about her not being able to like, when she sees people, when we came out of lockdown, the first lockdown, that she won't be able to interact with people and I was really scared about that. She was, but, the first time she was a bit wary of yeah, like quite a few people. And I was so nervous, I was like, she hasn't been around enough different people, she hasn't been at like baby groups and stuff. But God, that feels like ages ago now, so much has changed. I'm lucky she's got nieces and nephews mm -hmm. and like swimming as well. She loves swimming and that gives her so much more confidence and she's buzzing. She loves swimming. I love swimming. I love seeing her swim. She doesn't swim. She just kind of like drinks the water. <laughs> we've made the best out of a crappy year Shit, and we've been pretty. so lucky with our jobs and our life and everything and I think my biggest lesson of 2020 is to be so grateful for what you've got and so appreciative and I feel like this year more than any other year I've been very aware of how lots of people live their lives very differently. And I think that's mm. something we've personally in our personal lives put a massive focus on. Yeah, and to be a real community spirit and helping other people. Absolutely. And also appreciate the smaller things. So the positive out of this is like be going for a walk. Being able to go for a walk in the park and take Grey to the park. Yeah. Just enjoying that open space and outdoor space is great. Before we were just rushing around. Mm. Weekends we were just like going to King's Cross and then we went to like Selfridges and I think we just like didn't breathe. We'd wake up on a Saturday morning and just rush out the house whereas I feel like this year has made us really appreciate our home and like spending more time here and and now like I don't even worry. I remember at the beginning I was thinking I was just, do you remember first lockdown I just sat and cried mm. and I was like I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know how I'm going to entertain her, I was so anxious and now it's like it's not even the thing I think about. I remember that week in March, end of March, and it like rained every day. We had some big arguments, didn't we? <laughs> we did. Oh. It was a it was a new way of working how to, how to work with each other. We're such a good team when it comes to being parents, mm. but it shifted everything, and it was like now we need different things from each other. But mm. we're so good at communicating, I think, and like I'm I can easily tell you what I need, and then you tell me, and I think we've done well. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. can we talk about something that isn't Corona? Let's talk about what we're excited about next year. Someone asked if we have any trips planned or if we're wanting to go on any trips. Like, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen next year, but we are hopeful. I would love to take Grey away. I want to show her a beach. I just really want her to experience beach and sunshine and yeah. swimming and the holiday vibe, you know? So I think we have a trip planned already. We have one trip planned and that's it. And I would hope that that happens and I hope we get to book more. Yep. Yes. The word is hopeful. <laughs> I just literally want Grey to experience a beach. That's all I really care about. Like, we've been so lucky to travel to so many places before. We've kind of done it. What else do you want to do next year? What do you want to achieve next year? Ooh. I don't know, like, being pregnant and having a baby was such a blur. And I feel like I lost myself for a little bit. I didn't really understand how to do my job as this new person that I'd become. And this year, I feel like I've figured that out. Mm -hmm. And I've made changes that work for my new lifestyle. And I now feel like I really enjoy work again and working with brands that I love and I feel excited by it. So I hope that that continues and grows and I don't know, I need, I mean, this is an argument we have a lot, but I need to find... What are you going to say? I need to find a way to like get people to help me with work. I work mm. on my own and it just doesn't work. You but like to do everything. I know, but anyway, let's not get into that now. 
I hope that I can find a way to do that. And other than that, I don't know, what, do, what would you like to achieve next year? What are you looking forward to? How do you feel about next year? What's going on in your brain? Definitely, I want to travel if we can, because it's made me realise to make the most of travelling and exploring the world. I want to do another challenge. Mm. I always like to do some sort of big-ish challenge, whether it's like run a marathon or do a couple of 10Ks or do a triathlon or do something adventurous and do something a bit out there like one year i went with my best mate we did snowdonia so we ran up and over snowdonia and then did like a tough mudder at the end that was fun so i want to do something like that There's and also this... gray would so love to come and watch you yeah like in the past when you've done it it's been me like whoo but gray like seeing you like run through a finish line so i'm looking i'm gonna book something and start training for that and start working towards that i think in the new year mm -hmm. i think next year if it all goes to plan, we'll be a focus on seeing and spending time with people that we love. I just miss seeing your yeah. family. Oh my God, yeah. Who obviously live in Suffolk. I miss seeing friends. Like I just want to sit in my friend's house and chat. Like I think this made us realize more than, more than ever. You right there? <laughs> to appreciate people in our life. I miss people. That's all I care about next year. None of the like materialistic stuff at all. I think that's massive learning this year. Mm -hmm. You don't need it. Oh my god, this is a good question. What are your favourite canopies? Well, you kind of said yours. Pigs in blanket, obviously the best. I don't know if they're Maybe the same them... all whoa, over whoa, whoa, whoa. the world. You're saying they're not a canopy? No. You have them on Christmas Day. But you can get them as a canopy, pig in a blanket, which is a little cocktail sausage wrapped in bacon. It's like a warm up to Christmas day. Or the canopies that I like to make, not really a canopy, but similar. You get those cocktail sausages, you cover them in honey and oh, whole grain yeah. mustard, like smother them. And Why then, didn't you make them for this? Oh, I don't know, I forgot. And then you lay them on a baking tray, put them in the oven for like 10 minutes just to heat them up. Oh my god, guys, you'll never eat a cocktail sausage plain again. Mm. So good. They were your signature. What other canapes? Wait, I need to think about them more. I like these like Japanesey ones, like the prawns. Look, we obviously like the prawns. Have you had one of these yet? Yeah, I did. It's actually quite good because the cranberry at the bottom softens it off. I'm going to try. Well, what else do you like at Christmas? Mm. Because like we haven't done our Christmas parties or done any type of parties I'm not, or I'm gatherings. I'm massively fond on Christmas parties. We do our friends like get together, don't we? This would have been a great time to have like a friend miss, like friends over like a can of Secret drinks. Santa. And I miss that. But I don't miss like work Christmas parties. Like, you know, ones where you have to like get dressed up in heels and go out and oh, yeah. everyone, and then people get too drunk. Do you remember That's like back fun. in the day where like you would go to a Christmas party and then come back at like 4am and We'd always argue because you didn't text me and your phone ran out of battery <laughs> and then like, and I just worry. And just, I hate that. I'm so glad we're past that phase in our life where we have to like argue about like, you, you know, that will happen again. Once like, when we're at four gray, kids. yeah, kids, whatever happens and they're in teenagers and we start going out again for like Christmas parties. No, but we'll go together. Well, no, you can go. I know it doesn't matter because I trust, like, not that I didn't trust you then, but I was just so much more worried then. Whereas now, like, I don't think I've had... I don't think I'd worry. I'd be, I'd be worried if Grey went out. <laughs> You'd quite like it if I turned up at eight o'clock in the morning because then you get the whole bed to yourself. <laughs> Exactly. Thanks. But then you'd have to do the morning routine. Well, how did we get onto that? I don't know. Where did it go from? I'm excited to see Grey, like, opening presents. Because last year she didn't understand, and this year she fully understands. We're making her a little stocking, and we've got some presents. We've got, like, a giant giraffe from H&M Home. I'm excited to, like, be a little, like, unit. Like, waking up here in the morning and doing our own little thing mm. in the morning. I used to be, be so obsessed with, like, wanting to go to my parents' house or, like, be with other people. Again, no offense. But now, since I've been great, I like appreciate us being together so much more. Yeah, no, I get that. Because it's, like, it's just us two. I love it. I love our little family time. Someone asked, what are your essentials for a beginner's bar cart? That's a good question, because lots of people have bar carts. We actually have a little round tray, because we had to get rid of our bar cart, you know, when Grey started crawling. But that's a good question. I wouldn't have no idea. Do you have any idea? I'm not an expert, I'm really not. They know you're not an expert. What I like to stick to is, equipment wise, a cocktail shaker. I think this one, this one is called the Jigger, because it's, it's like 50 mil, 25 mil. This will come typically with a strainer and, a, and an long stirrer as well. A good gin. We love Sip Smith gin. A good rum. What's a good rum? I always love Mount Gay rum. Mm -hmm. I think because I went there, I was lucky enough to go there with my family. Uh, that? Barbados. Whoa, look at you. Uh -huh. And also a white rum as well. Vodka and a whiskey as well. So like a single malt whiskey is always nice to have. And then also you can have things like Campari 
as well, like a side thing, because sometimes like this cocktail needs one of these, like a liqueur. Do you know what's so nice? The Sip Smith London Cup Gin is like a- um, Yeah, do you remember that? It's a, it's like a flavored gin. By the way, this is not sponsored by Sip Smith. <laughs> Angostura bitters. Oh, okay, that, is that like, because Anna loves them. Um... You can get them in any supermarket. They just do a little, little dash, and you have the normally of like sours or... What's the drink that Anna drinks? Amaretto sour. Yeah. Amaretto, you, you can have amaretto as well. Just like a nice little array of spirits. There you go. What's your number one wish for Grey when she grows up? Wow. I haven't thought that far ahead. Have you? What's so there's like one? Like one, I mean... You can't have one. Yeah, because obviously like, that she's healthy. Yeah, I can't, that can't be counted. That's obvious, right? Mm. Oh God, I burped. That means I'm getting drunk. I'm, I'm worried about the egg whites. Is that still- Yours is not. Is it separating? No. I hope that she is, is happy, healthy, successful, and that's not, I don't mean like money-wise successful and that like, I want her to find a job that she enjoys. Mm, I don't think, it's funny actually, because I say this to you a lot. I don't think your job has to be, how can I say this? I feel like, from what we see online, we are often convinced that your job has to be your everything and like everyone has to love their job. And actually I don't think that's true. I think you can love your life and your job just be like how you make money. But I love the fact that I love my job and I would love that for her just because it is, it is a nice thing to have. Mm. But I don't think it's essential. I think I want it to be happy and health, healthy. But that's obvious, isn't it? Anything more specific? Yeah, that was such a generic quick answer. I hope that the like world and the planet is like, a better place to be in. I worry a bit about that. Well, it's it's down to us and basically the younger generations to now start taking action. Or they'll be like, oh, but you do this. Yeah, but at least we recognise and we know you need to do it. <laughs> Love <the> side <laughs> Can we talk about the environment? <laughs> yes. Go on, say it again. We need to act now. It's down to us and younger generations, which they're already doing, to take action and to start, you know, trying to turn the times on all this pollution and the way we work, how we operate now. Absolutely. So what I want Grey <laughs> to be, like in the future, stand up for what she believes in. Mmm, yes. And I want her to like, and I can already see it in her, which I'm very proud of, and I don't know where she gets it from, but maybe you, yeah. A lot from you, because I'm like, I go with the flow. It's to, you know, stand up for herself and others, and also to go against the grain a bit. And I think quest be like thoughtful and question things and just sort of be more considered and then take action. Oh my God, I love that answer. I want her to be like Hannah, my friend. Like really kind and thoughtful of others, but strong-willed and confident enough to stand up for herself. Yeah, because she will come across bullies, she will get bullied, and I want to empower her and be like, don't give a shit what these people say, and just carry on with who she is, because the way she's going at the moment, she needs to just cr keep cracking on. <laughs> you sound like you're writing a school report. <laughs> that doesn't sound, does that sound? The way you're going a, at the moment, no. you need to just crack on. <laughs> what, don't give a shit and just crack on. <laughs> Nothing. You put that in a school report. Oh. I, if I was a teacher, I definitely would. Rich, you'd be such a good teacher. Did you ever think about becoming a teacher? No. Oh my god, that has just like come to me. I literally can see you now as a teacher. Oh my god, primary school teacher, the kids would love you. How much do you think Rich would be a good primary? Like you've got the kind, soft, gentle side. But you're so like encouraging and like no, uh, nourishing. Yeah, but I'm not very no. kind. Nurturing, that's what I mean, not nourishing. No, but I'm not very academic. I think for primary school, and I'm not saying you don't have to be academic for primary school teacher, but I think you know, you're intelligent enough, I think. It's all about basics. You've got to it? study. It's more, I think it's more about like te how you're teaching it. Look, the teachers that stand out to me from school was like the one, I came back from holiday and I was jet lagged and I fell asleep at my desk and he picked me up and put me on a bean bag. Like, that's what I remember. Or like the teachers that taught me a song because I couldn't remember my times tables, so they taught it to me in a song and that stayed with me forever. Like, oh my God, I feel like you need to retrain as a teacher. The only problem is then we can only go away in school holidays. Yeah, and it's expensive. <laughs> First world problems. Anyway, would you like another sort of drop? I think I'm quite full and a little bit drunk as well. This is really strong. Double shot. Someone's asked um, if we're doing Christmas presents this year. Yeah, are we? No. no. We, I mean, we say this every year. We do good we do. birthday presents. This, yeah, this is the thing. Rich is 21st of November. I'm the 9th of December. 
So we buy each other presents. Like I got Rich an Apple Watch this year, mm. which is a like you really wanted one. But, but you got me the SE one. Literally does what I want. Yeah, I love it. Okay, great. And you got me with my parents the Adidas Terex trainers. We are so cool. Walking shoes. So cool. But we're not doing Christmas presents because we want to like buy stuff for Grey. We both have the like end of year birthdays. Also. I feel like we're at the stage of our life where if we really need something, we get it for ourselves. Though I have to thought of two things that I want for Christmas. <laughs> but I'm just gonna get it. One... Actually, so have I. No! One thing. What? Facial. <laughs> okay, I'll get you a facial. Love I just a want facial. a hot water bottle. I can't believe I don't own a hot water bottle. I've never owned one. And I recently just really feel like I need one. Hot water bottle, and also, I thought of something else. Hair clips? You said we oh. looked to hair clips. Oh yeah, I really want those hair clips, really but random. I'll just get those. Yeah. North Face coat. We've realised that my oh, yeah. Zara coat is just not keeping me warm, and Rich's North Face coat is like, just so much better in terms of keeping him warm. But maybe I'll get one in the January sale. So we're not doing Christmas presents, but we're, and in my family we do Secret Santa, so we all have one present to buy for another adult um, with a £50 limit, but we buy for all the kids which like the kids just end up with so many presents. Especially this year because they're all like 7 and 10 and 11. And, oh, and I know they're gonna like open it and be like, oh my god, and then enjoy it for 10 minutes. And it's like, I hate it. And then move on, yeah. I hate it, I hate mm. all the presents. But, but I mean, on my side, we're doing Secret Santa charity. charity. Actually, I shared on my Instagram the other day a really good idea. If you're wanting to give like a charity-based present, Action for Children are doing something where you can buy like a hot Christmas meal for a child, so like it will, you can gift it to someone, so it's like a voucher. Does that make sense? It's a really good idea. What have we got for the kids? Like lava lamp, lava wheels lamp. for their skateboard, clothes. They also we also got those books, mm. so like about Greta. You know, like, like the big little people thing. Martin Luther King, and then all the sort of the greats. <laughs> what? Rich just makes me laugh. I just said that, but they are. We're running out of steam, guys. We're tired parents. What are we going to do for New Year's? Oh my god! No one's actually discussed that or talked about that. I don't think we can do anything. Well, what would we do anyway? The problem is, when you've got yeah, a kid, got like, you're not going to get a babysitter on New Year's Eve, are you? If you're the first one to have a kid, it's fine because then all your friends come to you. But all our friends have kids, so we're all just stuck at home with our kids. And last year we went away. If we had a spare room for someone to stay in... But you won't be allowed. Oh, okay, but imagine that it wasn't Corona. So I guess it's me and you probably doing this again. Sounds fun. New Year's resolution? New Year's resolution. I always say this every year. So there's two things. Well, three things <laughs> I'm going to do. I want to learn a language. Mark inspired me. He's got that app, Duolingo. Isn't there one called like Rosa? Rosetta Stone. Yeah. I think so, but that's quite expensive. Do a big challenge, like exercise adventure wise. So I wanted to do like beach cleanups. I like being by the sea. I love marine life from my traveling and doing my scuba diving and all of that. So I want to start next year, start from doing sort of more on a regular basis. Could be every two months or so where I go and help like clean a beach or do something outside in the environmental space. I, do, um, I agree and I think we should do it as a family. Yeah, and teach Grey and show Grey. I want to just start doing it so then Grey gets involved and that's all she knows. Happy with that? Yeah. What's yours? I haven't really thought about my New Year's resolution. I guess work-wise, I want to get more organised. I've kind of... I'm going to go the cocktail. <laughs> I've fallen off the bandwagon a bit when it comes to organisation because I work part-time and like I used Ooh. to have a bullet journal and like I feel like I'm a bit just a bit like... I'm never finished, I'm always working for the like the next thing and I just want to feel a Do bit more... Do you want a bullet more... journal for Christmas? No, I don't want a bullet journal. I just want to get better with being like, on the last Wednesday of every month I do X, Y, and Z, and like, I don't know, just, I want to go back to feeling a bit more organised like how I used to be. I don't know if that's doable though, I'm a bit like out of my depth with that. And then personal, I don't know if I'm really like happy and content with everything we're doing and how we are. Nothing major, I don't think. I'd like to no. go visit Anna and Mark in Brighton. We haven't seen them like all year properly. Oh yeah. Like once in the summer. I want to go to Stockholm to see JC and Harriet, and I want to go to Berlin to see Jay and Steph. Yep. I don't know. I also don't want to have any New Year's resolutions because I'm my personality is I'd rather not set something and then feel like I've failed. I like to set the bar low and then feel like I've won rather than set the bar high and then never reach it. That's my outlook on life. That's a good point. And also, actually, so? why do you have to start from the 1st of January? Why can't you just start now? 
Mm -hmm. I'll work on yourself tomorrow. Do you know what I'm looking forward to? That feeling after Christmas Day when you're like, I always get a little bit like, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you get like, let's clean out the whole house and let's start the new year and let's go, go, go. Which yeah, I quite like. I get I like, like ants in my pants and I want to like clear, I already feel like I want to clear out my bathroom and like, and I, I take the Christmas tree down like New Year's Day. Like, I, I love that January feeling. I'm normally quite quiet in January work wise, so I can just like focus on other stuff and getting my life in order and I, I enjoy that. I kind of want to just get into my pyjamas and watch Bro's Anatomy now. But these are really good. They are good. It's the, it's the pastry. Mm. All right. It's like a little mini beef wellington. That's what I want. What's not? What's the frog? Yeah, but I really want a beef wellington. We don't need dinner. No, yeah, this is dinner. Mm. You're done. <laughs> I'm tired. Should I wrap up? Lily can't talk. She's drunk and eating too many sausage rolls and prawn sticks. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining great and interesting leave any comments below <laughs> any questions as well we might follow up do you know what you should do an instagram <laughs> you're live. not very good at the outro rich you no. gotta just like an instagram live on new year's on new year's eve yeah i think people have better things to do no one's going out do you want a new year's eve party with me and rich we're gonna regret offering this we'll do a little setup like this cocktails maybe no promises. I am up for it. <laughs> Join me. I'll do it. <laughs> she doesn't have to come. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed Lily and Rich's canapes and cocktails. First one. Welcome to it. Is this going to be a tradition? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. I don't know when this is going up. No. Nope. Have a nice New Year. Have a nice Christmas. I don't know when it's... Ah! Don't take off my leg. Shh. Don't wait. Great. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>